Hey everyone, how you doing? So today's topic I'd like to speak to you is about skeptics and pessimists as far as on passive is concerned. And I want to go over some of the uh, questions that you're probably asked uh, to give you a little bit more confidence so that you have some details that you can then answer these people with. Now, the internet is full of skepticism at the moment. Obviously, a lot of people have been ripped off. A lot of people have had uh, promises broken and money taken from them. So naturally, people are going to be very uh, pessimistic and skeptical about any new business that comes along. And on passive is no different. So let's just go back then uh, all the way to uh, 2018. Now, let's look at the legality of on passive. On Passive was first registered in July of 2018 in Orlando, Florida. Okay, and it was subsequently amended in the January of 2019 because our CEO Ash Mafar wanted to have his name on the deeds of the registration when it was first registered in July of 18. His name wasn't on it, and subsequently on the amendment in January of 2019, his name was added to it. And another thing as well is that the on passive domain name, which is onpassive.com, has been registered for. For 10 years. Now, this alone, without anything else I'm going to tell you in a minute, is enough confidence for anybody to know that this is a legal business. It is also registered uh, within 200 uh, other countries and provinces around the world. Okay, so we are 100% totally legal as an internet technology company. Another thing as well is to answer some of these people to, on the legalities of the, of the business is that when you use any uh, product online at the moment, we don't ask to see the legality of the company that we're using the products. Uh, as a customer, we just use that product or service and that's it. Now, obviously, you're getting these questions now because we haven't launched to the world yet and we are in the pre-launch founder position and people are asking these questions because they want to be sure that the investment of their founders money is legal to uh, the company and our CEO isn't going to run off with the money but if he has gone to this stage so far by uh, registering the company then it's all pointing towards the long longevity of what he wants to have within his vision. Also, another plus side of what is going to give you confidence and not only be able to tell other people with confidence is we have three offices now around the world. We have our flagship office in Orlando and we have two in India in uh, Hyderabad and Bangalore. We now employ over 500 people within these offices, not only as um, service personnel, but IT, consultants, techs, etc. Everything that we need to operate on passive as a business. Now, we wouldn't have done that. Ashmi Farad wouldn't have employed these people, had these um, offices in different countries, if he was going to run off with our money. He would have used Mickey Mouse stuff. We can look up these offices. The information is in your back office right at the bottom. If you click connect, you will see the addresses for these offices. Now, if somebody was going to run off with our money, why would you put these places? Why would you put the documentation there so that we can all see it? It is another confident booster for us as founders right now to be able to share this opportunity with as many people as possible. Another, another thing that you'll probably get asked time and time again is, well, I haven't seen any of the products and services. Before I get into why you have actually seen them and you probably don't even know is, if you are designing products and services that haven't been seen online before, that are far superior than anybody has seen online before, at a cheaper price than anyone has seen online before, why would you show it to people so that they can copy it? Okay, Zoom, for instance, took four years to launch. Nobody had seen anything like it before because they kept it under, uh, kept it a secret, right? Ashmi Faraday is doing exactly the same. He is keeping this technology a secret because he doesn't want anybody to copy it. Going back to some of the tools and services that we use already, if you're a founder, you go into your back office. 
There is tools and services that we have been promised which are there that we are using on a regular basis. This is Trim URL, for instance. That is one of the products. We are using it right now. Also, the 160 yard uh, bespoke links that we use now in our back office to share this amazing opportunity. That is one of the tools that we use already. That is there, the emailer that is in your back office. You can use that tool to email anybody you want. It is done for you. There is click down links that has all of the text already done for you. This is uh, so that you can send it out to prospects. It is done for you. The inbox that is in your back office so that you can contact other people within your team. That is another tool that is available for you. So already we are using some of these tools and services in our back office and you already see how fantastic they are and professional looking they are. So again, this gives us lots and lots of confidence about what we have our hands on. Of course you're going to get skeptics, of course you're going to get pessimists, but with this knowledge you have just here should be enough for you to answer most of these questions so that you can share with confidence what our CEO is doing. He would not have done all this already for our benefit so that we can succeed online to make this residual income that we desire if he was going to run off with the money okay, and keep it to himself. Everything that he does, everything what On Passive is about is done with heart, it's done with passion, and above all, it is done for us. So use this information to be able to answer the questions that anybody is skeptical about, okay? It is there for us to use. Anyway, that's it for this update. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, just underneath this uh, video is a thumb like this. This is the like button. Also over to the uh, right hand side is a little bell. Just click that. That'll notify you when I upload any more YouTube videos. And above all, if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to this channel to help me get more exposure on YouTube. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. And I'll come back with another update very, very shortly. Bye for now.